Hey YouTubers, this is Jerry the Mining Monkey signing in today on this beautiful Sunday afternoon in Southern California, April 19th. And it's a beautiful day today, but I'm still indoors, unfortunately. So, just got wind uh, last week that Nocta Macro put out the latest version firmware update. So we are jumping from version 2.68 all the way up to version 2.76. And so the exciting thing is that there have been 10 features that have been added in this 2.76 update, including sensitivity level 7 has been added to provide extra depth. There's an extra mode that has been added to Park 1, so now there is Park 2. The third feature is changes have been made for the all metal mode changes. Um, it has been removed from the first spot in the options and moved to the end. And so this particular feature, what it does is, is the threshold setting has been added to this mode. And so the threshold setting for each sensitivity level is optimized to provide the best performance on different terrains. And so you can adjust the threshold setting between minus 50 to plus 50 based on ground conditions. The fourth feature is mineralization bar. This particular uh, bar, the mineralization bar, has been added to the screen and that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, not to say that it's a mine lab because uh, this thing is, this metal detector is a totally different beast, but mine lab, um, on a certain mine lab models, uh, they have mineralization bar which is kind of cool. So. Um, depending on the mineralization in the ground, the uh, bar will actually go from um, a steady one to two, all the way up to all the way to full. So, fifth feature was a timeout. Um, that was kind of an annoying um, thing. The um, when you would press the settings bar, the the timeout would would last about two seconds, and that was it. And you had to constantly press the settings button because um, the timeout um, the timeout would just drive you bananas and so the timeout lengths have been increased which is cool so you don't have to always uh, have to press that settings button to go back to the previous menu where you were the sixth feature is the back function uh, the up arrow has been added to exit from settings to go back to the main screen without waiting for the timeout. That's actually a really cool feature to finally uh, have that. That's that's incredible. Seventh feature, ID depth, has been increased. Feature number eight, four levels have been added to automatic brightness shown as A1, A2, A3, A4 on screen. Previously it was on, uh, it only had three. So now, one more level. Feature number nine, audio for the pinpoint mode and wired headphones has been optimized. And lastly, the manual ground balance function has been expanded. So if the, vi if the device receives a lot of noise and or emits false signals and you cannot eliminate it by reducing the sensitivity, first set, set your sensitivity back to its original level and then you can increase the ground balance values between 90.1 through 91.0 one by one until the noise is eliminated. Now sometimes you just can't get rid of this, the, uh, the EMI, the noise, because of the surrounding areas and that's okay. But uh, this metal detector, the Simplex Plus, is a very sensitive metal detector, I will say that. Even if uh, you own a, a Nocta Macro pointer, um, the Nocta Macro pointer, if you run them side by side, um, you will get quite a bit of interference. Whereas uh, if you have another metal detector uh, of a different brand and, and, and a pin pointer of the same model, uh, sometimes they will not interfere with, e with each other, but this particular Simplex Plus and the no Nocta Macro pointer they do interfere with each other but that's not to say that it doesn't work it's just that these particular devices the pinpointer and the simplex plus they're very sophisticated and um, 
very sensitive equipment. So, with that said, this is a tutorial on how to update your firmware from what it is now to the latest version of 2.76. So, what we're going to need, or what you will need, is one, the adapter that it comes with, which is a 8 pin adapter that macro, the Nocta Macro folks in Turkey provides for you. And on the other end, on the other end, it's a USB plug. You see that standard USB 2.0 interface. Obviously, uh, you will need the coil and the detector itself. So, as you can tell, currently, I'm going to fire this guy up, and you'll notice here in the bottom left-hand corner screen that it is on 2.68. Right away, you'll notice that there is no coil attached to it. That's because it's disconnected, as you can tell. But anyways, let me connect the coil, which is one of the things that we will have to do. And to do this, you simply just set the phone down here and I'm going to connect it. You'll have two ports, one for the coil and then one for the USB adapter here. Okay, so first we're going to connect the coil to the coil port. Make sure that your detector is powered down, so just turn it off. Hold down the power button And the coil has five pins. Okay. If you can see that, there's five pins on that. And a little notch right there. That notch has to align up with the notch here on this port. So it's very it can't go in. So you you turn it until the notch aligns with the green notch here simply just plug it in, you turn it until it's secure, don't force it in, hand tighten it, okay, you're set. Now for the USB cable, you're going to do the same. You're going to align this notch and the eight point pins to this port here. There it is, turn it. and tight very good now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your USB end right and you're going to plug it in to your laptop port your USB port here in this case I have a USB dongle here for my mouse I'm going to remove the USB port because this is a, a surface book and unfortunately it only has one USB port. I will be back. Hold on now, a second. As soon as you plug in your USB port, and to your USB cable, you will start to see that the Simplex Plus is charging via the 5 volt USB cable. That's okay. Just leave it like that. Not a big deal. You'll get a notification on your computer saying that such and such device was connected. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to noctadetectors.com. We're going to go to coin and relic detectors, click on the simplex model. You're going to scroll down. You're going to go to software update. 
and you're going to download the enc-simplex-system-2-version76.zip file. You're going to download that. It's a 7.6 megabyte file. You're going to go to your download folder, right click on it, extract all, and you're going to extract. It's going to extract the zip file and there it is. So now at this particular point you're going to run the setup file. There's two files. One there's a Windows installer package and the application. You can run either or. Uh, it depends what version of Windows you are wearing but in this particular case we're going to run the application If you're running Windows 10 version 1909, you're going to get the smart screen. You're going to click more info. You're going to run anyway. Click next. You can do this just for me or everyone. I usually do everyone in, cre in case you create another Windows account. All the users uh, in, that are in the Windows accounts will be able to install and run the update on the laptop itself. Click next, next. You might get the uh, user access control or UAC by Windows pop up. Click yes if you don't, fine. You just continue next. And the utility detector update tool has been added. So you'll notice that here is a bin file. This bin file, this BIN, that's the firmware update. Just leave that in its place now you have to remember where this location is your downloads folder ENC 2v76 because what's going to happen is you need to remember where that location is so that when you run your tool your Denopta Detector Update tool it's going to prompt you to install the USB driver. So you just simply just click OK. Not a big deal. Select yes. You're going to extract the device drivers for the USB. Select yes. Accept the agreement. That's all standard nonsensical stuff. Click finish. Yes. Yes. Next finish and now you're on the utility screen so here is where it gets a little tricky not really that tricky but you'll notice that there are four options simplex the impact cruiser series and amphibio series in this case we have the simplex okay and you'll notice that it shows the USB cable and the special port that we just connected to for updating firmware and the coil which is what we already connected. We're going to browse to the bin file where our download file was and we're going to select file. It was in the downloads folder if you recall. ENC and there's the bin file. You double click it, you detect the device, detection successful, you'll notice that, and now you'll notice what's going to happen here, you're going to see a series of things happening, okay? So, it detected that we have version 2.68 hardware version 1 it detected it, we're going to click OK and it's going to communicate on COM3, that's the available port that it's on so if it does not detect a, a particular COM port you'll have to go into your modem ports in the device manager it can get a little tricky if you know somebody that's a Windows nerd or a tech guy, they'll be able to change the port for you. It's not that big of a deal. It only takes 
a minute, if that, to change your COM port. And then, once it de automatically detects the COM port, you're going to click Start Update on the utility. Progress started, please wait. And so what's going to happen? Update complete. You'll start to see that the simplex lights up. You're going to click OK. And that's it. You're done. It is updated. How do you know that it's updated? I'm glad you asked that question. We're going to fire up the detector in just a minute. I'm going to disconnect the cable all right, that's connected to my laptop here. Because we are done with the firmware update. We're done. And we're going to disconnect the cable from the USB adapter port for updating firmware. This same port, by the way, is used for the headphones as well, the wired quarter inch adapter. Cool. We're done. So you have the coil connected. Here's the coil cable. It's adapted, it's connected. We're going to fire up. And now you're going to notice here on the bottom left hand corner you're going to see version 2.76. Babu. Cool, there it is. You see the mineralization bar here at the bottom left hand corner? That's a new feature. We now have Park 1 and Park 2. Whereas before we just had Park 1 before. Now we have an extra Park 2. We have the all metal mode feature move all the way over to the right to accommodate the extra Park mode feature. Now you'll notice when you press the settings button, the timeout doesn't go away after two, three seconds. It actually stays up there for quite a, a good time to make adjustments, which is cool. And then we're going to scroll over and we're going to adjust the frequency settings in here because it is a little chattery in here. little less than F1 here, but mind you, we do have wireless in here and we do have some EMI inside the house. So I'm going to turn down the volume by turning it down. That was annoying, wasn't it? And there it is. You are updated to version 2.76. Wahoo. What else do we got here? I have my wireless still on. I'm going to disable that. There you have it. Version 2.76 for the Nocta Macro Simplex Plus. I'm going to go try this bad boy out in my front yard since I can't leave my yard other than shopping of course. I'll see you guys around. We'll see you on the next round. You guys be safe, be well, and go bananas in the field. This is Jerry the Mining Monkey signing out. Peace guys.